Josh, let me start with you here. This is driven by this spike in COVID cases in China as China has released, uh, excuse me, relaxed some of its COVID restrictions and by concerns of the emergence of a potential new variant here, right? That's right. And it's also driven by one other thing, Hallie, which is U.S. skepticism about the data that China is releasing to the rest of the world about its COVID cases and specifically a lack of genomic sequence data. They don't believe, U.S. federal health officials, that they are going to be able to have a good handle with the data they have right now on potential new variants of concern that could emerge from the surge of cases we're seeing in China. And as a result, they don't know that they'd be able to tell when there's a new variant and then slow the spread. And so as a result, federal health officials tell us that starting on January 5th at 12.01 a.m., they will begin requiring uh, a negative COVID test pre-departure from anyone coming from China. It doesn't matter if you're Chinese, American, or anything else. If you're coming by plane from China to the United States, you're going to have to get a negative COVID test uh, up to two days before departure. It can be a PCR test. It can also, interestingly, be one of those antigen self-tests that you take if it's the kind that you do via telehealth, which means essentially somebody is on a webcam watching you take that COVID test and you kind of hit, uh, hold up the results so that they can see uh, that it's a negative test. And that way you can get a piece of paper that says, uh, look, this person actually did have a COVID, a negative COVID result. The U.S. also says that in response to these concerns in China, they are stepping up their tracking uh, and surveillance of travelers who are coming uh, into the country by adding adding two new airports in Los Angeles and Seattle to that monitoring program as they try to get a handle on this. And they acknowledge fully, uh, U.S. health officials, that this is not going to prevent every single COVID case from entering the country from China. But they say it will go a long ways towards trying to slow the spread. And they also reiterate that the U.S. continues to make offers to China to help it with its COVID crisis, including an offer of vaccines. But they say so far, China has not been willing to take the U.S. up on that offer, although they say that offer still stands despite these new restrictions going into place on January 5th, Hallie. This is, you know, this does feel in many ways, and Josh, you alluded to this, like what we saw in the early, early days of the pandemic, right? The imposition of travel restrictions um, and the onus on, in this instance, right, the onus is on airlines to, to get this stuff implemented. That's exactly right. The airlines are going to be the ones who are going to take a look at your COVID, negative COVID test and decide, you know, whether or not it meets the criteria, whether to let you onto that flight. That is the key reason uh, that health officials are not putting in this policy into place right now. You might say, all right, well, if we're concerned right now, right. shouldn't we do this immediately? Uh, might it be too late if we wait until January 5th? But just like we saw when the U.S. imposed travel restrictions at the very beginning of the pandemic, this creates chaos for airlines at a time uh, when, as we have been covering, there's plenty of chaos already in the airline industry. And so public health officials say uh, that they will start this on January 5th so that they can work with the airlines uh, to help them understand what is going to be required uh, and help prepare them to be the ones who actually uh, do that verification of these negative COVID tests.